kufika kwa geti ya madhali first born akatoka oh jesus kusema ni bukiwe theater the second born akabini ni aka break maji yake sasa lakini ame break maji na nimeanza kusikia uchungu ni mtoto atoke but haonekani wow It's the gorgeous woman show and as always we are excited to be here tonight and I know all of you have been tuning in kindly alert your friends and family let them know the show is on fire today and as always we are privileged to have wonderful guests that will empower inspire and just make your life more tolerable because maisha ni kuinuana na kutiana moyo and uh, this story that we are having today is one that will amaze you she may be looking young, but she's been through a lot of stuff. She's a mother of five, but her journey of motherhood is a serious one. Among the five, she has triplets. I am so happy to meet somebody that has triplets. But she had three miscarriages and have lost one child. So basically, if we were to add up, she would have been a mother of nine. And here she is seated. She traveled all the way from Nanyuki. She just come and share the story with us. So my guest, Charity Njeri, Karibu Sana. First of all, um, I will request you to speak up and uh, so that we hear you audibly. And we want to really appreciate you so, so much for taking time to come and share your story. It's not an easy story, but Tunaminia Kwamba God will help you. So tell us, who is Charity? Okay, I'm Charity Njeri Murioki, mm -hmm. but many calls me Kagure. Kagure. Yeah. Okay. So Joe Jerry and Kagure, they are both your names. Yeah. Okay. My real name is Kagure. Yeah. Okay, Nidizariwa Nanyuki. Mm -hmm. Nanyuki General Hospital. Yeah. Then it's it's a it's a funny story because my mother realized she's pregnant mm -hmm. when wakatoka kwenye walikuwa. So wakaenda nanyuki. Mm -hmm. But the uh, family was very poor background. Mm -hmm. So akatafuta mtu wa muoe when mm -hmm. she was pregnant. <laughs> Nikazariwa <laughs> another in another family. Okay. Then so nika, I was named Kagure Charity Kagure. Uh -huh. Then huyo mzee sasa that that father mm -hmm. simjui akaanza kunitesa. So oh. he could take me and anitupa. Wow. So At when what age? I was young, months. Months ana kutupa. Yeah. So when my mother realized that, I can only mm -hmm. Then her sister, her elder sister, I na Lafiki. That friend, I her brother, and I kugoa. So I came back to Karatina. When I was still young, almost now a year. So I came back and I told But my mom changed my name. Juma, her elder sister, I told her to Jerry. So I can eat a Jerry. I can change the name and I told Jerry. Ah. Yeah. So, so who raised you? Your grandmother? No. Eh. So I was raised by my mom mm. and sasa my dad father. Ah. <laughs> Sa Karatina, Sa Murioki, the Murioki. The Murioki. Yeah. Has he been a good father, Ama? Mm. It's not that because he was very drunk. Eh. My father, mm. alikuwa a driver, uko Karatina. Mm -hmm. So he could come. I'm the only daughter. My hakuna mtoto mwingine uko. So you could not take No, I'm the only one. Yeah. So, uh, Nikitoka Shure, Nikua, a primary school, it's called Nikitoka Kyalidain. Nikitoka, Sigeto a uniform. Jua Kikuja, and a figure do a Kiwa Fa, Mjua Mefika, Kilam to a toke kwa mm. <laughs> <laughs> Those dramatic fathers, okay. Yeah. Uh -huh. So, in a kind of uniform. I was that girl, no one has some to Amstana. But unakana uniform. Ukiamuka asubuhi unatafuta maji unafua uniform ikiwa kwa mwili, naenda hivyo. Juu sasa unataka ukue msafi kama the other girls. So, it came to a certain that sasa, hata in my, sasa my teachers came to realize kuna there is a problem. By the time I was in class 6, in this class, sasa nikenda class 7, tukaenda, tukaenda venye, tasa get together, tukaenda home. And when I came back, Nika aludi nyubani, by January nika, nika shiko na stroke. I was in class 7. 
nikachukua na stroke ni it was like daktari anauliza mtoto mdogo anatoa stroke wapi so nikaanza sasa nika cancel i was treated for one and a half year so ni ni pressure yenye yeah, ilikuwa na yenye napata huko so my mom it's like my, my mama want to save the marriage hataki kutoka hataki that ationekana ametoka kwa mzee so ni hata if you look at if you look at we were yeah. naona nafunga hii jisho eh yeah. ndio hiyo stroke wow. so but tukaendelea i went in high school nikaenda high school udhaya ile ni gaus but the thing was the guri okay nikaenda huko nikasoma up to i was the see you tired the uko ah nice toka form the nikaona mama ngo ana pesa so yeah. nikapotea Wow, to hold that thought of you. Let's take a break as we hear the rest of the story. I thought my guest is quiet, but now I can see the story is coming. Stay tuned. Mm -hmm. So at form 3 you dropped. At form 3 nikatoka. Mm -hmm. I went. Sasa nikaambia my mom, I want to go in a day school. Ndio sasa hata na wopa yenye anapitia huko. I want to be near. Because oh, alikuwa violent. Yeah, my father was very violent. Mm -hmm. So nikaenda in a day school to Sihuagi secondary. Nikasomea huko nikafanya hadi form 4. In 2011. So tukaka the my father became more violent. So my mom had to divorce. Mm -hmm. Akatoka. That's why we went to Narumoru. Mhm. Mm tukaenda huko when my father married immediately. In fact, my mom alitoka on Sunday and on Tuesday there was another, another wife. Wow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, tukaenda huko, nikakuja hapa githurai. Another, there was an institution, nikuwa inaitua East Africa. They train girls. Wede kwa house, 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 mm -hmm. yeah, house work. I'm a house manager. So, nikaka huko. That time, we, meet, we met with a guy. He was done can mine alikuwa anafanya madera mm -hmm. waliwana at Roshabab so I was to marry I was to get married the, he was coming to introduce himself kwetu then he got killed on that Saturday wow so I was prepared to get married no when he died I was I was very prepared. I'm getting married. So immediately we met with another guy. In fact, after two months, I got pregnant with my firstborn. Now, the, my firstborn, we are six years. So I started the journey of marriage. I just wanted to get married. And I stayed there. He was not a bad man. In fact, he is not. Na tumeka. I got my first born in 2015, October. October 12. Then, after one year, after my when my son was six months, I realized I was pregnant again. Oh my God, okay. Yeah. When I realized I'm pregnant, mtoto wakaasha kunyonya, so you actually had been introduced to us as a Yeah. In fact, the mother was born. Wow. So I was born to my mother in law. I got my second born on March, March 21. Yeah. She was very active, very good girl. Then it was on Saturday. So I was like, Naskia, I got a home. So immediately on Saturday, we came up very early in the morning. We came to come to hospital. We came to work on a kifua. So she was treated. Then to come to the bank. We came to home. We came to the bank. We came to the bank. And she slept. We came to the bank. We came to the bank. We came to the bank. So there are two kids. Two small kids. Mm -hmm. So wakalala tukabaki na uu ndogo. Tukikaka, tukaka nikaona mtoto wa mirala sana. Loud 6.30, jioni, nikaenda kuwagalia mtoto. So nikapata mtoto wa mirala, she, it's like she's not breathing. I called the father. Mbaki ya kutukua simu. Nenedaga na piki piki. So nikafikiria, hako juu ya piki piki. Mm -hmm. I called my mom. Tuko, 
the same time. Mm. Oh, yeah. Terry, Terry, it's like her breath she was Terry and mm. it's not it's like she's not breathing. So mom hakuongea, akakata simu. Then me nikatoka na mtoto nikakibia. So nataka nione anybody can help. Me. So mom did not tell you anything. Yeah. So sana yeye ameshtuka. Wow. So she want to come. Sasa mimi nikatoka. Kutoka kufika kwa barabara nikapata na mtu wa pitipiki. So akaona ni mtoto nimeshika, she is sick. Aka drop mwenye amebeba, kaniambia nikanywe pikipiki turudi hosi. Kufika hospitali na dispensary hapo kwetu na mmoja. Wakachukua mtoto. Wakaenda na yeye na huko. So sikujua wakwa kwa bini ni then the father came. Ni sasa nimemwambia kwenye niko. Akakucha akaingia akauliza what's wrong? Ni bana mtoto. Ameweka mtoto tu hapo. They are not okay. Hawa bit kitu. Wakakuja wakanitisha baby show. Nikawapea. Then sasa nikasikia one of the nurses akiambia sasa huyo mzee that huyu mtoto it's like she's not breathing. Nimepiwa na shoot. Na ukiona hivi wakienda kuongea sasa ndio wakaona niko nyuma wakanyamaza. Wakaniambia tafuteni gari. Sasa my mom is here and my uncle wamekuja. Tafuteni gari mpeleke mtoto bene sasa na nyuki. Tukafanya but before today nikauliza nurse na kwa nini msitupe ambulance na mkona ambulance. Kabia hapana. Sijui haina mafuta. Just take them. Ga tafuteni gari mpeleke mtoto. We did that. Tukaenda na mimi, the father, my mom and my uncle kufika na nyuki kufika na nyuki mimi ndio kukupea daktari mtoto akamshika hapa akamfinya hapa akatuuliza mtoto amefanya nini nikawaambia mmempeleka hospitali eh mkabiwa nini you are told to just bring the baby yeah kalabia huyu mtoto alikufa kitabu lakini hakuambiwa wow yeah so hata among you wao watu wote hakuna mtu alifikiria ameenda No my mom aliona eh. but yako anataka kuongea. Oh so alikuwa anataka tufike the at least ndio bio na daktari. Eh. Yeah. So tuka sasa tukarudi. So huyu mwingine mtoto wako na nani? Sasa venye tulipi sasa venye tulienda unajua sasa in, in my family wako wengi sana in mm. the same town. So venye walisikia hivyo walienda kwa nyumba in my house. Wakakaa na mtoto hata tukapata mara nyingi wamefika huko huko. So karudi then the process yani ni sasa mazishi kaanza na alikuwa how old she was 5 days to get kisha one year wow yeah so to karudi the body ka happen and everything went well then sasa unaona sasa mkimaliza mazishi wenye mnaokea sasa with your husband akasema sitaki mtoto mwingine before nikwambia but inside me ni kwataka mtoto but there huko sasa nimeelewa ndio sasa nipende watoto ulikuwa peke yako yeah and the other fa- family members walikuwa najua si si wa huko oh. so nilikuwa nategwa i was still alone wow. then my father akilewa unaona sasa venye mnapatana na mtu na kusalimia sasa baba nani sasa sasa kuko na sababu sasa baba kagole mimi sina mtoto kama huyo so is key sasa unaona ndikuwa napenda nilikuwa napenda watoto tu i knew kama ningekuwa na sister ama brother sikekuwa this desperate ningekuwa na mtu ana tunaongea na yeye then nilikuwa naona vinye sasa hata wa watoto wa, wa this family they could not respect my mom wow ju hakuna mtoto akona yeye in fact hakuna there was no respect in that house bit sisters to my dad kila mtu there was no respect I'm house to go to nakaa sisi wado. In fact there was a time my mom left me there. Akaenda kukaa kwa sister yake. So tulikuwa tunakaa na my dad. And my dad could come very drunk and anakutus it's like you are the the, the wife. Yeah. yeah. So nilikuwa napenda watoto. So nikaamua I won't take any family planning. Mm-hmm. Nataka mtoto. But sasa mzee hataki. But let me tell you ndio mzee ameamua kuna mtoto utapata hakuna mtoto atapatikana so i was having napata ball but in a miscarriage 
the wow. first one miscarried siko anaongea na mtu in fact they knew the third the third miscarriage in fact even my mom just so that kwetu anaongea na yeye sana was not that open to my mother in fact even today not that open so nikafata first miscarriage nikakaka nikakaka then nikapata the second miscarriage na hakujua hakuwa anajua so, so unajua na mwambia ni periods eh. i'm that funny hata nikipata when i'm giving birth ngikwambia sasa hii mtoto atatoka anatoka sipatagi uchungu so, so oh. hata hizi miscarriage hakuna uchungu so the that miscarriage ndio nilimwambia ah uh-uh. before nipata hiyo miscarriage ndio nikamwambia i feel like i'm pregnant na mimi nataka mtoto hakukata kasema it's okay so after like two months ndio nikapata miscarriage so nikashindwa what's happening mm-hmm. is miscarriage nikaenda nikaona daktari mwingine alikuwa anaitwa dr blues akaniambia mimi nikikuangalia akanituma picha akaniambia nikikuangalia hauna shida and it's like hiyo ball bado haijatoka so akanituma kwa gynecologist na nyuki anaitwa dr buddy kunituma huko huyo akaniambia hiyo before ataisha toka sina kitu i'm very clean but akaniambia nikiangalia i have no problem akaniambia will be okay then kind the home that's where the process of the triplets ilianza so after two months sasa nikaabu but i was told ni sifanye kazi gumu mm-hmm. i was employed in an impressa na uza gas na impressa so niachane na gas sasa so, unaona ku lift gas la tin kg yeah. mm-hmm. so nikarudi kwa nyumba that's when I, after two months i got pregnant when i got pregnant ni nikaanza sasa naona hizi morning sickness but it was too much so nikaenda hospital nikatumwa bere general hospital nyeri mhm kwenda nyeri mimi ni daktari kuniona alisema ni yakwe maji ni the world kwenda world akasema he, he needs to know ni mtinda gani ni kona hata kama ni bo kama ni morning sickness it's too much So kwenda picha that's when daktari akasema kuniekea hiyo machine ya ultrasound kaniza charity uko na watoto watatu wow 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 wow, wow. <laughs> uliuliza wengi ulipoa restoration so, no eh, si kuelewa vijana anasema eh. nikamwambia eh huyu ni watatu oh <laughs> eh we akaniambia hapana mimi sikwambi hivyo you have three kids in your womb ni was like nini but kwa nini kwa in my facebook account i always played naona kuna vitu zinaleta go na play at unasema what you want in 2020 2020 mm-hmm. evo i could always napata you will have triplets you will have triplets oh, wow. so it was something like was ni kitu ilikuwa imeplaniwa so ni immediate after kutoka huko i called my mom yeye yeah, alikuwa anakuja kuniona kwa hivyo you know what nimebua ni kuna watoto watatu but walina ni kama nimeshtuka so they told me mmoja atavanishi sasa utabaki na wawili oh. get to this at least walikuwa na nipea hope ndio sasa wameona nimeshuka alikwambia utatavanishi yeah. aje at oh, least hawa wengine watachukua huyu ubaki eh. na wawili atameza huyu mm. eh. so i was living with that hope nitapata <laughs> twins hata nilikuwa nawaambia no i would get twins not triplets so nikaliri so after 3 weeks nikaenda nyumbani but nikaambia nitakuwa nikiona gynecologist mm-hmm. nika change nikarudi nikaenda madhari hospital nikuwa naona dr Musa he is a very good doctor mhm hata yakaniambia hivyo ukisikia mama akisema there is a good doctor he is yeah, a good one he is a very good. in fact even today anafuatilia yeah. watoto wow yeah so akaniambia hata yeye alikuwa ananipea hopes mmoja ataenda ataenda tutu mimi nikakaa nikigoja aende ukienda picha unaambiwa ni adhiri ni adhiri unangojea huyu yeah when i was in five months pregnant nilikuwa naambiwa we to ukiwa na watoto watatu bila de for anything you can miscarriage oh yeah you can lose the baby it's a high risk pregnancy yeah. Yeah. so nikamwambia pana na anxiety mingi sana yeah by the time naangalia my life naona my husband anaenda na pikipiki eh. mimi siko kazi so i need to go back to work i need to work due, due because of the babies so and how did your husband receive the news your triplet okay ali hakuwa na shida She, he he's just said it's okay but back there i came to realize some things later they were not happy they were not that happy you are not they will be named after my parents 
Oh, oh no. my God. So, or triplets are going to be No, gavani. triplets and twins, they can't. Oh. They are named in, the, in just one So family. it's your family increase yeah. Three, yeah. three times. Mm. So, my husband, oh, okay, sorry. So, when I was five months pregnant, Nikaida, I was going for clinic after two, every two weeks. Nikaida, Nikaida, I was kazi. Doctor, I was a doctor, I was a doctor. kazi, I was a just in the house. I remember one day, Nikaida, kazi after kufuga, Nikaida, I was a doctor, I around 12. Nikasikia maji imetoka. Wow. I'm um, five, five months. Nikaita mzee nikamwambia ni kama maji ya mtoto imetoka. So tukatoka tukaenda hosi. Kwenda hosi nikapimwa everything sikuwa nimefunguka. So nikapoa bed rest huko. Kaulize sasa nime nimeambiwa nikae huko. And naangalia my life with the triplets nikiimagine kasema hapa nikaambia Mungu hapana. The either watoke ama nirudi kazi. So I was begging the doctor. He had the new ban. Difficult pali ni kadanga ya majia itoki. He ni kwa rusa ni had the new ban. I went back home and kalu di kazi. When I was 25 weeks, samaji katoka tena. Wow, you will hold that thought. Um, our viewer, that's the story of charity. Uh, let's hear the rest of the story. So welcome back our viewer to as we listen to this interesting story. So charity at 25 weeks magic atoka tena. Yeah, magic atoka tena. Uh -huh. So it was tukaenda sasa tukarudi hosi. Nikapelekwa tumutumu. Mhm. Mm tumutumu akasema niko sawa. Tukaona no. My cousin walikuwa home. It was on December. Sawa. So, Wakasema sasa hiyo mimba inakaa kubwa kabisa. No, it was not big. You were not big. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Nilikuwa sawa. Hata ugefikiria mtoto ni mdogo, hata ni mmoja. Ah. So, my cousins wakanipeleka, tukasema tuwede nyeri PGH. Nikaeda huku, nikapua bed in two weeks. On, after two weeks, daktari ya kakuja, kaniabia, you go home, then on Tuesday, come back, ubukiwe theater. Tisasa, watoto watolewe. Judea, in, in a very high risk. So, I called my doctor, u doctor Musa. Kamuabia venye naabia, kaniabia, come on Tuesday, likuone. So ni kapewa luusa on Tuesday. Iliko on Tuesday, then next week on Tuesday ni rudi. Mm -hmm. So when I went home, ni kapewa, it's a total bed rest. Hakuna kutoka kwa kitada, mm -hmm. ukai hapo. And I went, ni kakaa for one day. It was one Tuesday, ni kashida on Wednesday. On Thursday, usiku. No, on Wednesday, usiku. Sasa ni kanza kusikia uchugu. It's like, minya unauma na tubu. Ayaleba. No, Ayaleba. unauma na tubu. In, in no more. I called my mom around Sakumi. I came and I said, "Can I be at a camp? See you to mtoto? Let's go to hospital." And immediately, I called Doctor Musa. I came and I said, "Can I be at a camp to meet you to hospital?" Mm -hmm. I was taken to hospital. Kufika kwa gate. Now I'm 25 weeks and three days. Kufika kwa gate ya madali. First born katoka. Oh Jesus. So, na kini sasa sasa wenye nisikia mtoto anatoka. I told them so so ju wako watatu na I was told our watoto stahili kuhuza normal eh yeah. ju they are holding 1% yeah so I was supposed to be ni ende kwa theater sasa venye ndisikia mtoto ametoka nika panic nikashika mguu kabia pana ni bebeni hiyo nipeleke kwa daktari so obviously unajua nurses akiwa kwa maternity ukiona mabebe unasema unajifanya mwekeni chini sijui nini but juu wao walikuwa na jamenye na kaa nikachukua nikaikewa juu then one of the nurses akachukua kitabu hii ya clinic akaona imeandikwa pale juu triplet so mimi ndio akakao dr Musa na yeye akafika so mtoto ametoka fast sasa hata sasa toka lakini hao wengine sasa watoki hata hiyo kitu sasa nimedilax so dr Musa called akasema nibukiwe theater immediately kusema nibukiwe theater the second one akabili ni mimi akablick maji yake sasa lakini ameblick maji na nimeanza kusikia uchungu mtoto atoka but haonekani wow so 
waka, sasa wakaanza kuitana nikaanza kudugwa sasa dawa zingine ndio niongeze ushugu but mtoto hatoki sasa u doctor head to put ni mkono ndio asikie mtoto wako wapi ndio akasikia mtoto amekuja na miguu na mikono amekaa hivi that's why hatoki so waka waka mtoto mtoto sasa wameachana mtoto first born na second triplet waliachana na 15 minutes so aka akatoka then nikaambia sasa ni relax ndio huyu mwingine akuje but hata yeye akakosa kutoka cho tayari amekaa na miguu na mikono kicho ni hal nimeacha nyuma no of course hawajafika tam yeah mm. but at last akatoka na after like 9 minutes na sasa huyu venye ametoka 15 minutes bado ana breath normal yeah hata wakitoka wanalia nasikia mtoto amelia na amepelekwa huko na ako hao ako na kilo ngapi bado sijajua sasa so nika nikatoa sasa watoto wote na nikuka, by the time madhari hawakuwa na nas, na nasari ilikuwa imefungwa na serikali so i had to be transferred to nyeri pgh nikapelekwa huko then juu hao walikuwa wanajua nimetoka huko so they were supposed walikuwa na kidia nitarudi huko wakakataa kuchukua watoto ai 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 so wakabia hawa na the nurses kutoka madhari kama wanataka wachukue watoto wao prepare hata kwa nasari sasa hizo hata mimi sijaadimitiwa niko hapo but one of the doctors akakuja by the time nilikuwa huko for two weeks when you eh. become friends with the doctor eh. so huyo daktari akaniona kama chali tu back kwa kwa watoto tukaanza kuongea hivyo nikamwambia mtaweka huko nasa hata mimi kuja kwanza ni ku admit wende relax so nika relax nikaenda nika relax then we then diona all nurses from madhari wakitoka nasari nikaenda kwa kuongea nao nikauliza watoto wako aje ni watoto wako sawa wako how many kgs <laughs> my first born alikuwa 2.7 second born 2. ah ah si hawa i'm taking you back oh okay <laughs> 2.7 2. okay. and 2.8 uh -huh. so i was imagining mtoto venye anatoshana eh we akaniambia first born ako 10 1075 one kg yeah second born ako 8040 third born 1005 so i was very trying to imagine it was not time there wanakaa so huko waona yeah hapana hauge waona juu sasa unaona hawajafikisha nini wako 5 5 month so walifungwa na tayari vitu mob ndio eh. akubrid so nikaenda nikalala nikaambia kwanza nisiende nasari saa 5 ndio nili i was that's when i was around to kuingia nasari we mimi ngoja niingie nasari watoto wamekwa kwa incubator wote watatu naangalia you are trying to imagine nini nini mtoto mmoja alikuwa anatosha na hivi kai kauliza daktari wao ni watoto eh, saa hizo umegojewa hadi mama triplets Eh, yeah, kuja. <laughs> Then nikapata daktari the daktari watoto. Huwa anaenda around on Thursday. So nikampata hapo. Huwa anaongea akiongea ukiwa hapa unasikia ukiwa huko. Yeah, do you want to Ah, watoto ni wadogo sana, but I will try my best, but we don't have hope. Kai, hawana hope na watoto. Ni siku hiyo. Kaenda kwa watoto wangu nikakaa hapo sasa hizo hakuna kitu naweza wapea sasa so, kuna mipira wamejaa vitu mm. just try <sighs> nikapigia my mom after kutoka hapo nikamwambia mimi venye nimeona watoto they are okay but ni wadogo sana so i was trying to give myself hope nikiwa na watu na watu huko wakikuja kuniona sasa watu wa kwetu wamesikia niko na triplets hiyo sasa ni breaking news yeah kwa yeah. tauni yote in fact kila mtu atakukuja na rumoru uulize mama mwenye kona triplets unaletwa kwenye niko mm. so au uko wanasherekea niko na triplets but mimi huko nalia na sisi sasa mnasherekea nini ju nilikuwa naona watoto wamekuja mtoto wako 8 ya 8 month anakaa tu disa na kufa mwingine anakuja 7 month anakufa but wako wako hapo then sasa nika i called my reverend by the way mimi ni wa PCA mm -hmm. I'm a skilled wow that's nice so i called my reverend nikamwambia nini kuna eda kaniambia don't worry our total their blessing so what they will come they will come out of that nursery then nikaendelea hivyo nikapata courage nikigia nursery kwanza naombea watoto ah. nikitoka kwanza nawekea watoto au mikono then wakakuja kupata judis wa wow. lakini hawaonekani wako na judis so watoto wakaadusha kilo 
huyu mwenye alikuwa 1075 akakuja 800 huyu mwenye alikuwa 840 akakuwa 600 watoto wakaangusha kilo kabisa in fact i remember one day i was called nikaambiwa huyu second triplet ni kanitagal ni msichana ati she might not make it it's like hayuko ati nikaambia hapana msipeleke mtoto wangu huko juu sasa ukiitwa wanachukua mtoto wanapeleka huko oh ndio sasa wanataka wakiodoa huko hapo nikamwambia no don't take my baby there nikakaa hapo nikaambia mungu cause i ukipinipea watoto there was the purpose huyu mtoto apeleke huko and i know she will live na sina msichana mwingine this is the only girl that i know and after like that means mtoto akaanza kupumua wow Was, and what is the father saying now all this while anakuja tu we are not talking about the baby sasa unaona mko in yeah, we are just there the women but sasa unaona pampas wanatumia pampas mkiwa huko so but hauchuguliki ndio unajua my husband ana anaendesha pikipiki so hakuna pesa mm. so pesa yenye unapata ukiwa huko unampea kuja kuja na pampas so unaendelea hivyo so watoto sasa wakagusa kilo kabisa then it was on on weekend for to they were uh, pimi pikiro on weekend so on weekend tuki on monday wakipimo kilo my dad triplet alikuwa 1.8 na tukienda weekend alikuwa na 1.2 wow hata daktari akasema like, turudie hizi kilo tuone kama mtoto iko sawa ama ni nini akakuwa 1.6 akaenda 1.8 huyu mwingine first triplet naye akakuwa 1.6 so Daktari mkubwa venye alikuja on Thursday akasema ati watoto wako sawa but kwanza wapimwe kama wako na damu before we pay usa ka nikasema itoke okay. na wakatolewa damu ikapelekwa Mount Kenya kwenda kupimwa damu nikaambia kuna mtoto wako na damu wote wow. waiko damu wow so nikapika nikabwa nipiga simu nyumbani nisemwe watu wakuja kutolewe damu mtoto aweke damu but nikiangalia watoto wenye wako huku nasari mtoto akiekwa damu anaenda akiekwa damu anaenda kasema hapana sasa venye tulikaakawa tena kilo zikaanza kuaguka kidogo then my neighbor akakuja na sasa kwenye nimeajiriwa nime kwenye nafanya kazi my neighbor akakuja kuniona na familia yake and one was Catholic kakuja na father so mimi alikuja ku it was at 4 mimi alikuja kuniona hakuna mtu mwingine anaigiaga na asali is expect your next of kin mm-hmm. but baba yao hakuwa ameingia huko since mm-hmm. niingia huko so hakuwa anamjua so i had to beg the doctor at in fact ni mwambia just do my next of kin akobali let mm-hmm. mzee mm-hmm. sasa aingie sasa wakapea father ruhusa akaingia father kawaobea akaniuliza kunaenda aje nikamwambia venye tunabeba hakuna damu anything then i called my elder in a pc kuna mm, elder yeah. when wana eh nikamwambia venye ninaabiwa <coughs> they need blood kaniambia no chaliti hakuna mtoto atayeko blood and damu na watatoka huko after one week daktari akakuja akakuja venye aligia nasa ndio akakuja kama amesema anaona tu watoto wenye wako na shida kwa mtoto mwingine anaangalia. But akienda kutoka akauliza, "Kwani triplets bado wako huku?" Wow. Hey, akaniuliza, "Charity, mnafanya nini huku?" Akachukua groups akaba. Sasa daktari mwenye anakuaga huko Daire, akamuuliza, akamwambia, "No, ulisema waweke damu." Akachukua sasa groups akaanza kuangalia watoto. Akauliza, "Na wanaongeza kilo?" Eh, hey. "Nani waenda nyumbani? Bado wakakunywa dawa." So the following day on Friday nikakuja nikaulizwa sasa watoto wako aje by the time that triplet alikuwa 2.2 wow that is within how long after one two weeks two weeks yeah that is a miracle yeah in fact it was a big miracle hata sikuwa na naona i sikuwa naona it like nilikuwa naona kana naota so first triplet na yeye alikuwa 1.8 that second triplet yeye alikuwa 1.6 nikaambiwa hautakaa huku jia huyu wa 1.6 the this mtoto akiwa na 1.8 ndio anatoka oh. huko nikamwambia utawekwa na huyu hapa sema ulotoe goza watoto uende nyumbani 
So nikafua lusa nikaenda nyumbani. When my mother came, nikujua na my mom, my mother in law na my aunt. When walikuja my mom akasema ni hata jibeba, ni yako katikati. Na hata jibeba. Wacha apewe mtoto na daktari. My mom started crying. Akamuliza sasa mnalirisi mtoto aende wapi? Yeye sasa anaona ni kadogo. But namwambia huyu mtoto ni mkubwa. Kama ungemuona venye alikuwa she is very big. Tukaenda nyumbani. Kwenye tulienda nyumbani tukutunakaa na Lumoro town. Kufika nyumbani tunabua stima hakuna. Na saa hizo ukitoka huko you are told kama hutaangalia hawa watoto. Let them stay here. Juu ya primature. Tukafika, tukaambiwa hakuna stima. Nikafikia Rad Road. Nikawawe nimepewa ruhusa. And I'm with my kids and they need heater. Ndio hizi kaa kwa nyumba hiyo. So we had to beg to come to show stima. Tukarudi. Tukaenda kwa tukakasa tukakaa. Watoto wakaanza ku they started growing. But chadi jikakuja juu ya house girls. Unapata msichana anaingia kipata ni triplets the follow India na kuambia na Eda. Sasa unawapea nini? Chakula. Sasa ni nani? Unanunua nani? Eh yeah, so always breastfeed. Na ah, hata walikuwa na breastfeed Una, bado. Yeah. But nani ndio walikuwa nakunywa sana. I tell you tulikuwa tunanunua nani? Katin moja ni 1200 ama 11. They came to a point wanakunywa 3 tins per day. Wow. So tunaangaliana. Unaona when most of the people ukipata twins summer triplets utakiwa kupata kuja kuwasalimia juu ni wadogo sana but nilikuwa natokea kwa barabara na kuuliza kwani ukuje kukunywa uji jo i need you to come ndio nipe pesa nipate ya kununua maziwa ama hizi wow. pampas so ni mimi nilikuwa nauliza watu kwani wamkuje kukunywa uji ndio unajifanya mimi nataka ukuje but the, i know what i need so tukakaa watoto wakakaa sasa maziwa ikafika pale ika ika nini ikakosa let me tell you one thing. Watoto wanaweza sherekewa by the society. But your family it's very funny. My grand my grandmother came. Akaita kila mtu watoto wake. They are nine. Akasema I want you kila mtu mtoe pesa mnunue hao watoto maziwa. <laughs> Some of my family members hata wakiona hii watashtuka, watajua watashidwa nilijulia wapi. Wakasema ati hata wao hawakubustiwa na nani wow they were not boosted then nikipata hawa watoto i knew how to feed them wow take a break and our viewer let's hear the rest of the story wow okay hawakujua they, they, they don't know you know and don't know. Mm -hmm. so nikaboa venye kunaendelea nika okay sasa the umas guild walikuwa wamepaka kuja kuona watoto so i talked to my chair and thank you so much to her mm. i appreciate her so much nikamwambia venye what i'm going through sina pesa anything everything i, I had saved in fact that on on Monday, ndio nilikuwa naangalia my bank my bank balance mm -hmm. i had 20 shillings so i, I called her nikamwambia what i'm going through kaniambia i try to talk to the women's guild mm -hmm. wakuje hata 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 waonyesha i need the money mm -hmm. but ata waambia wakuje and then she also talked to the reverend so they came and i was given money nikanunua maziwa then Nika, I remember sasa so, tukat the short story nika on last year last year August my husband's birthday ni August so tulikuwa tumezoea hapo pere in your kwa birthday yako tunakunyia kitu hivi so last year siko na anything so on August 18th nika nikaenda kazini nime nafanya kazi kwa mpesa nimeajiriwa kwa mpesa nika nikachukua simu and i recorded a uh, video kidogo nikimwambia no matter what we go through it's just for a moment but one day amefanya accountant one day utapata hiyo kazi tutakuwa in a good life na tutapata what we need and also our kids 
kupata pata what they need so nikaeka video kwa facebook and a lot of people are kaona and they are like what's happening so so unaona i'm that person tukipata na yana huko i'm very happy yeah. i'm always smiling utaijua what i'm going through yeah. so what my friends it's like what's happening nini na dada but it's nothing i'm just ni that's what you are going through for a moment so one of my friends tumeelewa pamoja from the same village karatina ako dubai akaona in fact maybe who na muona she is called alice gemalis okay she is very nini anatapenda mambo ya media sana so akanipigia kaniuliza what's happening kama wapia and akanipigia remember she alinitumia 3000 from her friend then akapewa tu akaniuliza it's is it okay nipi ni pewa tu na your number but it's okay akapeana na bago toka anza kunipigia what's going on naweza tukusaidia aje nikamwambia the only help that i need it's my husband apate kazi he is an accountant mm-hmm. and he know he's capable akipata hii kazi then wakanebia for for the time being tutakutumia kitu yenye tuko nayo do at least you feed the babies by the time my cousin and she, i thank her so much do i am sina kitu naweza mpia but i'm very happy for her she is very young yeah but alikuja kunisaidia kukaa na watoto do wow. sina house girl na alikaa kwa go mpaka akarudi shule by the time by the time vitu zingine zina happen for a reason ji ya corona vinye shule zilifunga so mm. alikuja kwa go kunisaidia so nikabia ni sawa na ni watu walinisaidia hiyo time sana then tukienda nyumbani i was called by one of them kanisa chali tunaweza taka tukusaidia aje kampia sitafika kwa nyumba kuja nikupigie tukifika tuko tumepitia kwa grad mom sasa wa my husband so ju tulikuwa wengi sigeogea una sasa hutaki kuogea mabumigi tukiwa mbele ya watu so nikakata simu akaniambia it's okay let me tell you after kutoka hapo there was no insult si kupitia kwa my husband nimekuwa mmaraya sijui you are doing no things nikamuuliza nikuulize kitu moja niko na watoto wanne ni mzee mgani hata naweza kuongelea akijua the chukumi yenye utamletea yeah. mm. well mimi hapo niogesha from that moment i was passing the hell nikiwa huko pampas watoto you can imagine mtoto mmoja vinya anatumia pampas akiwa mmoja yeah, times 3 of the same yeah, times 3 mimi napitia hii kitu yenye nakuliwa kwa hii nyumba it's me so uko na pesa wenyewe ya pesa but you have to use do watoto the babies need watoto wanahitaji kila mtu kwa nyumba anahitaji na unataka your cousin is in your house na utaki mambo yako itoke nje mm. juu akiona yenye unapitia ataenda kusema uko nyumbani ataanza kupigia wazazi wako ataanza kupigia ha mama ha mother so nika nikaanza sasa kuchukua jukumu zote and i used the money almost 60000 one of my friends tunaenda naye kanisa akaniambia sasa juu ako na pesa yake do you have to cover the shortage mimi nitakupea pesa tutajua kwenye utatoa pesa ukiendelea uki, uki, hivyo utaanza kunilipa kidogo kidogo but kwanza ukave hii shida yenye uko nayo so after one month mzee hakuongelea hata ongei na nini hata ikuona watoto when you call sasa i ran mad i remember one day i decided that sasa watoto wako wanalala so i decided nikitukua hapo kwa table nilikuwa nakaa na watoto kwa table jua alali usiku you spend the whole night umekaa chini unaamka asubuhi unaoga unaenda kazini so i decided i kill the babies and me and also my first born just sat hold okay ni tumekuwa nini tumekuwa sasa it's like umzee anaona kama tunampitia tuna, anapitia yeye anapitia juu yetu then nikaona option nyingine i will not keep just the babies nikaona nita nitachoma nyumba niite my kazi na toke nifunge sasa mlango ni sasa tukupe the whole family my four kids me and my husband so that tukupe tukiwa wote nikaona no then nikaona hapana 
if I kill them, it's better I die alone. Niyata, niyata watoto. Juma ima mwana mtoto mwingine. So, she needs to see the kids. One day, nikiwa kazini, my aunt, aka notice, niko na shida. Aka niza what's happening. Niko bia, pana na umu na kitu, jusiralagi usiku. I spent the whole night nika, ni managalia watoto. Yunaona mtoto mdogo, uwa na muka, uwa na nana hivo. But, aka notice, niko na shida, kabia my mom. Mama kaniuza ni nini kambi akuna. It was not certain. The certain ni meyamua. So ni kwa na there is no need ni uwe watoto ama mimi. I will take the babies ni wapeleke kwa tu mi ni ede. So ni kambi my mom what I'm going through. Ni kambi ano. My mom she is kind of mother. Ni kambi ni uta bumiria uendele. Wow. So ni kambi uta kaa po. I will talk with him. Kambi ano. Kama ni ogresi mi mi mwenye na watoto. What about you? So, I and it was on Monday. I came to my babies. to came to my babies. Since the last year, nobody asked you. Ata mother in law I called What happened? And I remember I called her. I came to my babies. I came to my babies. I came so, I started and I started the life with my kids. At your mom's house? Yeah. How old are they now? To kito kawuko, they were six months. Six months? Yeah, to kito kawuko. Eh. So you were how old? They are one and a half. One and a half? Yeah. Healthy babies? Yeah. In fact, Two boys and one girl? Yeah. Uh -huh. So, when you kito kawuko, my grandmother had a kuja. Sasa naona, unajua sasa hame kuzoya. And remember one day, one day she told me, Ukikufa saa hii, hauta adikiwa vitu zine utakuwa nazo. Kama utakuwa na gali ya mana nyuba, hazita adikwa. Eh, mm -hmm. But your kids, ndiyo wanaadikwa. Adikwa. Yeah. So wakaniabia, according to what I'm seeing, unapitia a lot of things. So I will take your kids, niende na wao. I will stay with your kids. We uta, uhasu, tafitia watoto wako. Try your best, but I will stay with your kids. Up to date, ni ana kana watoto. My grandmother, atasa hi. How old is she? She's around seventy. Wow. Ni ana kana watoto. What are you No, three. Mother na so my stay with the son. Okay. And mother to my uncle, my wife to my uncle, and I appreciate her so much. Ni ana sa idea. Ali ni abia ukipata pesa una ni ripa. If you don't, when you get, you will pay me. Up to date. In fact, I was there. Akani abia. My grandmother can be a ukipata chakula unaleta. What you get, you will do. And let me tell you, Reverend, I would I always take my phone. Not at I always online. But squaggy online in Fanya Kitwigina. Neither could have come and as a part of sponsor, which you call a total dear Tristan. But what I decided, they are my kids. I never, I will never give up on them. So if they are grown up, wako one and a half, and they see a lot of change. And I'm very happy when I go there, nikeda uchago, because they knew, they know me. Wakiniona wanakibia wote, they come to you. And it's just a miracle juka, watoto ni wadogo, but wanajua wedi mamba yao, hata sai. Wow. We pray that God will make a way for you, na hata kukumbuka, and surely ama kukumbuka. Yeah. Because of time, our viewers may not be able to go on. But what a story of charity, a strong woman. So, kwa Facebook, na ito anani? Charity Jerry. Charity Jerry. You can reach out on Facebook as Charity Jerry. From us and the city and family, is God bless you. Amen.